Hey guys, what's up? Um, welcome to another video and today we're going to talk about day two of the design sprint. I'm super excited and if you haven't already, check out the other videos about the design sprint and product management as a whole. If you haven't already, also like and subscribe to this channel. It helps us reach more people and Joto Bishi Manush, Toto Bishi our motivation to make more videos. So please share this uh, channel if this is useful and let's get right into it. So. Day two thing. First thing is we will review whatever sketches we made in day one. If you remember, day one Amra, we left things off by creating a lot of sketches and then putting it up on the wall and then voting on what is good, what is bad and deciding what we will take forward into the prototyping stage. So the decider is the ultimate decision maker about what we will make prototypes of and with that we're in day two where we review all of this the, we review the deciders uh, you know whatever decisions he made we don't necessarily want to change the decision while reviewing it's just a recap uh, on day two we start by questioning some assumptions firstly there are two important things that we will do number one we will do storyboarding storyboarding keep storyboarding is basically outlining what the flow is own step or cone step so for example, a flow could be login, go inside a food delivery section, pick a restaurant, uh, select something to order, finally go to the checkout page, select a payment method and then confirm. That's a flow. It's an alternative flow. For example, go into the food delivery section, go into a restaurant and then when you select an item, maybe add an add-on, maybe add some toppings. Erocom, there are some different parts of the flow. It's important to kind of create an entire storyboard to understand what the different moving parts are. So the entire point of a storyboard is create, to create a shared understanding within the team of what you're building and what the different sequences are. Now, after the storyboard is created, it's usually to create a shared understanding, right? And at this stage, we're trying to focus on some key moments. Uh, so which are the important moments during the flow and we will focus most of our energy on those moments So for example, when the user has added something to their card, that's a key moment and then actually taking them to check out and finally clicking on confirm order Those two are also key moments when they're browsing throughout the restaurant there's really, you know, uh, that's a good important moment, but it's not uh, uh, if you were to stack rank them the other two would be key. So having established a share, shared understanding of the sequence of what comes first, what comes next, and what comes last, we will now move into prototyping. Now there are a lot of good tools out there. I would recommend three tools in particular. Firstly, InVision allows you to create a prototype that is web-based, has a mobile app, and is pretty cool. Nowadays, the cool kids are using Figma. Personally, at Pata, we've recently switched from Sketch to Figma, mostly because uh, it's super collaborative. Maybe I'll make a future video of Sketch versus Figma and why we has actually decided to move. If you want another video about that, let me know in the comment section. So Sketch versus Figma, I can break that down for you if that's helpful. But uh, Figma is a good choice. The last one is actually Adobe XD. So Adobe XD, and there's a lot of uh, debate about how to pronounce that name, but Adobe XD is actually a fine choice as well for prototyping. So feel free to check all of those out. Um, if you want me to do a comparison of the different softwares, let me know. And once you kind of have the sketches and you have the flow, it's really down to creating the first basic prototype. So on day two, it's really about the designers taking the sketches, taking the flows and doing some work. So this is quiet time. This is not discussion time. They just put their headphones on, they just uh, focus for a few hours and they produce some screens. And you know, it's about creating a prototype that we can then show to users and get feedback on. And that's it. Those are the two tasks we want to do in day two. It might seem like day two is pretty lightweight, but actually creating the screens and making a prototype takes up a few good hours. And the goal is to come back the next day and just do user interviews. So that means user interviews with the different stakeholders, not just the actual users of the software, but also the internal users who will help validate some of these assumptions and uh, flows that we're making. So that concludes day two. It might seem light, but you, once you get into it, there are again, a lot of nuances, a lot of work that goes into it. And if you have any questions, please, please let me know in the comment section and 
I will be happy to respond. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe uh, to this channel. And I don't want to share such a poor video ta because you know uh, the more people you can spread the knowledge to, the better, and it helps me keep motivated to pop out more of these videos. If you have feedback for me, also let me know. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.